Henrik Jerzy Chamielewski, also known under his pseudonym Popsio Chamiel, was a Polish comic book artist and journalist during World War II. Chamielewski served in the Home Army and took part in the Warsaw Uprising. After the war, he started working as a graphic artist in the Swiat Modich magazine, where he also published comics. Since the debut of his first Titus, Romek I Atomic Comic Book in 1966, he focused his career almost entirely on this series, telling the story of Titus the Zoo, an anthropomorphic, talking chimpanzee who wants to become a human. The last, 31st book of the main series was published in 2008. But Chamielewski continued to create other works, such as art books, with his characters. Chamielewski's comics are known for the use of absurdist humor, puns and word plays, aimed at children and teenagers, with the goal of being both entertaining and educational. His works often explore history, science, art or have the characters trying different professions. Henry Chamielewski was born on 7 June 1923 in Warsaw. During World War II, he was a member of the 7th Infantry Regiment of the Home Army, Galu. He took part in the Warsaw Uprising. In 1949, he married Anna Nieslewinska. Together, they had daughter Monica and son Artur Bartlonge. They divorced in 1974. Chamielewski's son Artur works at JPL. Chamielewski died on the night of the 22nd of January 2021. On 1 September 1947, Chamielewski started working as a graphic artist in the Swiat Prigord, a magazine aimed at children and teenagers. The magazine was often publishing Western comic strips and parts of comic books translated to Polish, taken from foreign newspapers without asking for licensing copyright. One of the comics published in such manner was The American King of the Royal Mounted, copied from a Swedish magazine. Once Swiat Prigord couldn't obtain the newest issue of this newspaper, Chamielewski was asked to draw his own episodes of King's Adventures, so the magazine could avoid abruptly ending the series without explanation. Six such episodes were created, which Chamielewski counts as his debut as an comics author in his autobiography. When Chamielewski was answering letters to the editor sent to his newspaper, he would write under the name Zyadzio Chamiel. Chamielewski believed children would be more willing to write letters to a grandpa than a 25-year-old he really was. In January 1949, Swiat Prigod was merged with Natropi, a scouting magazine, to form Swiat Modich. At the same time, the magazine ceased publishing comics, since Poland was a Stalinist socialist country at that time and comics were viewed as an American form of art. Between 1950 and 1956, he studied at the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw. After ending his studies in 1956, Chamielewski was thinking about becoming a poster artist, since publishing comics was still not possible. However, in the same year, following the Stalinization in the Eastern Bloc and Gomulka's Thor in Poland itself, he decided to try drawing comics once again. Chamielewski created 10 single-page episodes of Romek I Atomek, a black-and-white comic telling the story of two boys, the title characters, who accidentally fly into space in a rocket while visiting an astronautics exhibition. During the flight, the boys discover a talking space monkey called Titus used for experiments. At that time, the characters' personalities were not yet developed, and the idea of humanizing Titus as the main topic was not yet born. The comic was not published immediately, as the Swiat Modich editor-in-chief was initially skeptical about it, fearing, despite the thaw, that publishing a comic might cause troubles with the main office of control of press, publications and shows. Under the title Titus, Romek I Atomek, in 1964, he also launched the club Titusar in Swiat Modich, with humorous articles presented as written by the chimpanzee himself. In early 1965, after nine years of Titus, as a newspaper comic in episodes, Vidonik to Harsiski's director Januz Marushevsky proposed to create a comic book with the characters. Since the publisher was only allowed to release scouting-related works, Chamielewski was given very specific instructions about the story. 
Romek and Atomek were planned to be members of the Polish Scouting and Guiding Association, who check whether Titus might also become a scout. During the story, the main characters would also try to find their first jobs and earn money to visit a scout camp, learn about conserving historical monuments and fight with superstitions. The publishers ordered Chamielewski to create a comic which would give education through entertainment and entertainment through education. After six months of drawing and getting the approval of the main office of control of press, Titus Harchetsame debuted in 1966 in 30,000 copies, which were all sold within a week. Although the comics were initially not planned to be a series, Chamielewski was asked to create a second B.O.